But I understand too At the same time He had money for a long fucking time And fuck, what, what can you do Like when you done had everything And got everything What the, what the fuck well, is next Well there's certain things You can't do Well that's true too You know too. what I'm saying Certain things you cannot but do yeah, we all in this shit. We don't want nobody to know about it. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gon' talk. That's what I'm saying. Right. But you know, like I said, you 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 one of the guys who what can we expect, you know, coming, you know, in I'm trying it, to get Master P back in the boot, man. He won't get back in there. He's so stuck on all his all his other business, but Master P is a you know, I've been working with him since, you know, I got with no limit in like Yeah, 14. you got yeah, you got with him. Yeah. What didn't you come after after, after, after KL, KL yeah, yeah. How was that transitioning into that? It was, it was cool, man. It was cool. How did you? I, I how, the people KL. was not. The people was not used to dealing with nobody else. Now, yeah. come on, now. Yeah, it was. Who was the first artist that you dealt with after this whole transition transpired and and, and Beast by the Pound walked out? What you mean, like when they no left limit? and then you came? Who was the first one? Well, I still came years later. Like I came like damn near what? That was in two thousand. Two or something, two thousand one when they ended. And when did you come? And I came like two thousand fourteen, so it was. Oh, so years later. Yeah, yeah. It was so years they was later. They had adapted, super yeah. adapted by this time. Right. But who did you work with first? That's all I'm trying to get when, out of. With no limit. Yeah. Um. So I was called out to work with his daughter, Symphony. Okay. Uh, Jugget, my boy. You know, Jugget. Yeah, shout out to Jugget, man. Shout you want to call, answer my phone call, bro? Like. He what you doing, already, man? He what you doing? He already done told P was up or whatever <laughs> about me that I rap, I produce, or whatever. He already laid it down. So once I finished that up or whatever, so P was like, you ain't about to go nowhere. I want to hear what you got. What I, what it was, I played a few songs, a few beats. And he was like, you know what I'm saying? What's up? Shit, I was like, ain't nobody else trying to give me an opportunity. I'm about to fuck with that. So, you know, and that was just history from there. Wow. Um, do you? Have- go ahead. So, okay, so this question I got right here, it says, in today's fast-paced technology world, how does your transition impact your music production process? Read that again. I got a process. <laughs> me too. I'm, I'm trying to get you to like, yeah, hear me with the T.I. Like, you know what it felt like? It felt like I was in school. Yeah, she just like, hit me with the ooh yeah. Go again. <laughs> it says, in today's fast-paced technology world, how does your transition Impact your music production process. Well, I'm an old. I'm, I feel like I'm an older producer, and but my thing is, is my is my work ethic. It's the drive in me that keep me going. You know what I'm saying? And I work with. I still work with young artists. You know what I'm saying? And I, I deal with young artists or whatever. So, and and the, the role I want to play in this music business as well. Like you know what I'm saying? I want to play the CEO role and the you know the person to really like get behind the music. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. not just make the music, but also on the other side of it, you know what I'm saying? So that just keep me in it, keep me going, yeah. Wow, man, like I said, man, you you dope, man. Like, I can't wait, you know what I'm saying? What, what, how, how is it working out with these these two cats? I, I just had on the show, man. Uh, I've been looking at y'all music. I just had them, man, I had it on there. I had it on my mind, man, 504 Detroit and, and CPO. I just call him Snipe, but yeah. like, like how how is that working with them on these new projects? I always, man, Detroit been working for a while, man. Like, man, him, that, I've, I've been fell in love with his sound and, and the type of person he is or whatever, you know what I'm saying? So I just I just straight grabbed him like yeah. I'm f- with you out the gate. No diddy. No diddy. <laughs> <laughs> Say, but I ain't trying to don't make me say that. See what I'm saying? See what I'm doing? Don't put me in there. Don't make no, me you, say that. He made me say, say that, dog. No, I ain't gonna and, say and, that. And, and, for you to even say that, you know. And I gotta ask you the question. He brought it up. Like, 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 uh, do you how do you feel like Diddy will be after Four years from now, is he gonna be okay in this situation? I want, I want to see him okay, bro. Like because I grew up to, I grew up on Diddy, bro. Like, you know, like who don't want to have the success that Diddy had, especially being a black man. You know what I'm saying? Coming from the hood, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like. But I understand too. At the same time, he had money for a long time, and fuck, what what can you do? Like when you done had everything and got everything, what the, what the well, nice. there's certain things you can't do. Well, that's true, too. You know too. what I'm saying? Certain things you cannot but do. Yeah, we all in this shit. We don't want nobody to know about it. I got a lot Listen, of skeletons man. in my closet, take Playboy. That, take that. Took on a whole new meaning I'm going to deal with my situation with God. Yeah, but. Some shit you just got to let just deal with God with it. It's going to spill into the streets. You got yeah, to watch you what's going on. You let it spill, then you get caught. You got to pay the crime. You got to pay for the crime. You got caught. 
It's a lot of people nervous now. Yeah, you yeah, seen yeah. a lot of people hanging out at the parties with Diddy. They come with Ben's it. it. Fonsworth Bentley. Uh, all, it was a bunch of them. You find out what I did, yeah. boy, no. <laughs> Yeah. I'm going to jump off the bridge. It's going down. It's over with. I, I think quit. that's all of us in a sense. Yeah, all of us. Yeah, we all yes, Lord. You yeah. Know what I mean? <laughs> that's indeed. Yes, indeed, man. Like, I, I really, like I said, I want to I wanna see him uh, really... Uh, I want to see him. Yeah, I want to see him come out of this situation. I want to see him come I out. I mean, too. you know, I, I, I'm not a, a guy that's going. I'm not going to just. I'm not going to just say he's guilty all, yeah. all day because our people have already been through a lot. Bro. I don't like talking to nobody. If we go to talking about that situation and y'all just bad out the man, hating on the man, and he ain't even. Wasn't doing it when he, he wasn't even guilty or nothing. Like you just straight up judging the man. Did they, did they yeah. get him on anything they yet? Ain't got him on nothing yet. It's all conspiracy type. Shit, you know what I'm saying? So you know, like. Leave that shit alone, man. Let it go, man. Yeah, for let, it let, let yeah, them folks stop eating on that man. Let let them because they already been waiting to hate. Yeah, bro. Yeah, because yeah. he filing documents to get things right now. We lo we losing too many. You know what I'm saying? Like, come, come on, on bro. Come on now. Hey, yeah, that's man. the whole game, man. So, did you you think you gonna get P back in the studio? Yeah, I'm gonna get him back in there. It's going down. I bet you I get him back in there for a couple of more songs. You gonna get your two out of them at least? I'm, I'm gonna get at him. least. I'm gonna get them. I'm gonna get them. I'm a, I'm a AI is a, um, we gonna, that's my dog, bro. That's my partner, dog. Keep who my haven't partner. you who haven't you worked with that you would love to work with? Baby Fix, Teddy really? Riley. Uh, Shout out Teddy Riley. Jam. I can't say Michael Jackson because he's he gone, gone, bro. You know what I'm saying? Slow but, jam. Yeah, you know. What Shout saying? out Teddy Riley. I heard you in Dallas right now. Yeah, Teddy man. Yeah, so he might bro. be in the city. You might can bump into him. He here. Well, I bet. I bet not. It's going. <laughs> then we could be making music on the spot. You think the old school R and B can come back? I'm into that. I'm I'm stuck in the I'm stuck in the late '80s, early '90s. Like. I love it, but really, a lot of these younger kids they don't they don't because listen to they that. They don't they don't want to be any. In, People don't like being in their feelings no more, bro. That's like the biggest thing right now. Nobody don't want to, you know what I'm saying? Their feelings for the young kids is pain, drill music, pain music. That's yeah, what they, they look at being yeah, in their feelings. They don't want no, ain't no love no more. Ain't no love no more. Yeah. You're right. Top three artists all time, dead or alive. Two, top three? Or yeah. Any genre. Top three artists. Of all time, dead or alive, any genre. Michael Jackson first. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta say Mike. What about? Gotta see Mike first. What about you? You don't think Drake better than Mike? Huh? <laughs> I Drake? just heard a guy that was on this show. Drake wouldn't even say he better than Mike. Of course, Chris Brown wouldn't either. But it's nobody people out here, It's people out here saying it. Man, look to, to you gotta pray for him. That's all. <laughs> oh, who you got number two? Uh, number two. I could put Drake number two. Okay, see that's hard. Yeah. And number three, Tupac. Tupac. Yeah, y'all both wrong. Y'all need move. Y'all need to move. Is he the Pac or Drake out of them two? Like I, I could put. I, yeah, because you're saying that Drake better than Tupac, right? No, he can't be saying that. He put Drake as number no, two. He yeah, he better than Tupac. What? Hey, you man. see that picture right there, man? Don't you? <laughs> So Pac set the Pac for like well, Pac no set way. the ball he like you know it's no tattoos or nothing for Pac. How old Pac, Pac was when he died? 25, 24, 25. Come on, he set the Has ball. Has Drake bro. been in a movie yet? Huh? Yeah, he Has started Drake? off in he TV. He done been in a movie. Oh yeah, bro. yeah, yeah, yeah. When he was but younger, when he, but he ain't like no Pac. Mm -hmm. Come on. Not bro. in no move. No. Come not on. in no movie. Lyrically. His whole movement. Lyrically. Is not mess with no Pac, man. You gotta You gotta look at lyrics first of all. How how lyrically he is. And the type of music but I'm not gonna argue with you, Black and I ain't tripping. You I ain't tripping. Now nah, you wrong for that, bro. I'm, I'm gonna I'm keep it real. That. And me. shout out to Pimp C, man. I'm a Pimp C fan for all. That. I'm Texas. Oh, yeah, I know. And they ain't from Louisiana no because Pimp they C. not from Louisiana. But Pimp was born. He was born in Louisiana. He don't know. Yeah, I shout like out Pimp to the Pimp, C. man. Shout, shout out to Pimp. Oh, I to the Pimp, man. They yeah. out here. I knew all I could have got a chance to work with Pimp too, yeah, brother. Yeah, Pimp Hall, bro. Definitely. Yeah, man. Thank you so much. What's your favorite Pimp C song? Um, it's a bunch. Well, let me see what his favorite is. What is that pimping record? Which I think, one? I think it's the pimping record. I can't think you know of the name of it. It's, it's on the tip of my tongue. I can't think. I of can it. name a bunch of them. Yeah, he got a bunch of them. Quit bro. hating the sound. Come on, bro. You lost your spot Come when on, you man. were pop CD flop. You ain't hot. Come on, man. The game been good to me. <laughs> you know <what> I mean? <laughs> Yeah, Pim was serious, bro. <laughs> Pim was serious. I like Scarface too, though. Ooh, like I'm a Scarface fan. Tonality, dip. Did you see yeah. that tiny tune? That tiny, tiny dip. Tiny table. 
Face was face was like that tiny did so hard, wasn't it? Face was fit to me like cause I how I grew up on him, I felt like face was like one of the first make you think type rappers to me. Like Wow. Yeah, he was real deep or whatever. Man. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.